Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Fitch Break headlines on this Thursday, April 20th, 2023. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day and glad you're tuning us for your TF headlines. Let's jump right into the weather as we've got kind of an active weather pattern today, uh, similar to uh, yesterday with a chance for severe storms. Uh, we're looking at uh, two rounds of storms or multiple rounds uh, as laid out here. Uh, the National Weather Service Malky Sullivan saying wet day with multiple rounds of showers and storms could see hail with the morning round, afternoon, and evening round with the cold front could have a better chance for a few st severe storms in the mid-morning round clears out quick enough. So we'll see what happens uh, no matter what the case. Uh, we'll uh, keep you uh, up to date uh, if there is any uh, specific severe uh, information we need to pass on uh, through our social media accounts. Uh, but uh, either way, have your severe weather plan ready as we work through today. And uh, as part of the severe weather today, I uh, shared it yesterday, the National Weather Service and the state uh, emergency management uh, have uh, together posted postponed today's statewide tornado drill. That will be moved to tomorrow, April 21st, same times, 1.45 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. So if there is any actual warnings today, they are warnings. So please be aware of that. Uh, and again, the statewide tornado drill has been moved to tomorrow. All that part of Severe Weather Awareness Week, which we will pick up on and we'll uh, talk a little bit today about uh, tornadoes. Yes, tornadoes in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin averages uh, 23 tornadoes per year. The most tornadoes occurring in the, the 3 to 9 p.m. time frame. The busiest spin-up hour is 6 to 7 p.m. Peak tornado season is in May through August, with June having the greatest number of tornadoes. Record-setting 62 tornadoes occurred in 2005, followed by 46 in 2010. In 2022, Wisconsin had 28 tornadoes, including 13 EF0s, 13 EF1s, and 2 EF2s. The average Wisconsin tornado has been a 7 to 8 minute duration, the path uh, length of about 4 to 5 miles, and damage wide and a uh, 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 width of about 120 yards. And and uh, yes, you're seeing uh, some of the averages here uh, since 1950, uh, turning our attention to uh, the uh, scale of tornadoes, the Fujita scale that uh, lays out uh, what classifies our tornadoes from 0 to F. Uh, an EF5, which over 200 uh, miles per hour. Again, you heard the average here where we kind of range in the EF0 to EF2. That doesn't mean that that can't happen uh, past the EF3, 4, 5. Uh, certainly we don't want that, but you got to be ready for it. Tornado safety, have a plan, and uh, where is your shelter, whether it's basement or lower level? Always away from windows. Center of building is good. If you can't get to a basement, uh, put on your shoes and boots, get under a table, cover up with pillows and blankets, put on a helmet. If you got a bike helmet, hockey, whatever the case may be, uh, that could help uh, save you your life and others. More safety tips are available online. You can check out the National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan's page for that information. Happening today, we've got a couple of events. We've got the Cheryl Drive Stormwater Project Public Information Meeting happening tonight. This will be at 6 p.m. at the Fitchburg City Hall Francis Hutley Cooper Council Chambers. We'll discuss the scope of the project, what is expected during construction. This phase two will begin in early May, weather dependent and be completed by mid-July. And if you would like to uh, find out more information, come to that meeting. We'll be broadcasting it live on our Cub channel tonight, F1. Police District Community Meeting North District will be happening today as well. This community meeting will be taking place at 2301 Traceway Drive starting at 5.30 p.m. Anyone is welcome to come to this uh, meeting. These meetings take place monthly and focus on uh, crime prevention tips, updates about crime or trends in your area and they'll continue to move these community meetings, the police department around our community each and every month. We'll be uh, taping this one as well. So if you can't make it, we'll have coverage for you and put it on our Cub and community channel following this event. In the Fitchburg Historical Society, uh, getting ready for their big weekend, uh, updating their display area and ready for Sunday's event at 1.30 at the Fitchburg Public Library for their annual meeting. Have a great day, everyone.